checking in with another vid today. Today I'm here at my old tow company picking up my motorcycle that I crashed last year. And the plan is to rebuild it. My KLR 650. It's been sitting here for like three months. Time to pick it back up. It's getting warm. We got it. I bought another donor bike to fix my bike. And I'm gonna just be swapping some of the things that I need. I got some work to do with the donor bike, so we're gonna see what happens and wish me luck. Get y'all some footage of me taking some stuff. So the first thing that I wanted to do was just try to get the bike running. So what I did was I had to repair the harness that was on my bike from the crash. I had ripped off some harnesses. Um, I had ripped off some sensors and the harness that went up to the speedometer. So I started off by just trying to do that um, before I went and swapped anything from the donor bike that I purchased. So here's videos of me just cutting the wires um, just splicing them and taping them. I had about, I want to say, 15 and 20 wires to cut and splice over, but it wasn't that hard of a job to do. After I repaired the harness, I swapped over the original fairing stay, and then I swapped over the speedometer. Then I had to go ahead and start purchasing parts for the bike. I bought some new wheels and tires along with just all the little bits and things that I needed that I didn't have or was broken from the crash. If you got a Gen 2 KLR650, then you know how hard this piece right here is to find. Um, those cowlings, they're really hard to find. And sometimes like you gotta look real hard and you don't end up finding them. But luckily I was able to find one. and closer this week my cages is going to be ready from the paint shop we could put it all together a few more things i gotta do parts are ready so when i was building this bike i did a lot of things for the first time on my own and rebuilding these brake master cylinders or all of the seals i replaced them all and i made a mistake and i put the pistons inside out so they're supposed to have the cup side basically facing the brake pad and basically as you can see i have them inside out so that's something that i had to learn and i had to go back and fix so here's when all the fun began I thought everything was going to just be a smooth rebuild until I realized when I put the bike back together and took it for its first ride that the frame and the geometry, everything was off. So I took the bike back together and I looked at it and then I realized the frame was bent. 
So then I had a whole nother problem on my hands. I had to swap the frame. I ended up having to take every little thing that I had just did off the bike and swapping it onto the other frame that I had the title for. So I did that in two days. I wanted to ride so bad. I had never swapped the frame on a motorcycle before, but all I knew was I had all of the tools and I was going to get it done. So I just started doing it little by little. And there's videos of me swapping that motor. Um, I did it all by myself. Nobody helped me. I just, I did it all alone. So the previous owner, I guess, just left the bike and let it sit out in the rain all the time. So as a result, all of the foot pegs and a lot of the bolts and the frames, they were stripped. So for the foot pegs, I time started them. Um, I re, I guess, refitted with the rapid coils and I restored the pegs. What's good, y'all? So I just wanted to do a little video on my KLR 650. I built this bike from the ground up, from the frame up. Um, yeah, so quick story on this bike. I got this bike secondhand from my dad. It was giving him problems. So he went and bought a 2022 KLR 650 and this bike was in the shop and I went in it, I went it up um, just buying this bike from him. I'll show you guys pictures of how it looked. It looked nothing like this, but um Bought the bike from him. I got into motorcycle riding and I've been riding since 13, but. We started riding together, I got into it more and more. I started falling more in love with it. And so I just got into the riding, ended up getting into an accident. Somebody hit me and ran, um, fractured my ankle, broke some toes. The bike sat for a while.
I repaired it while I was broke up and started riding again. The bike ended up getting stolen from me. After they stole it from me, I ended up getting a bike back after they stole it from me. I ended up getting the bike back after they stole it from me. Stolen recovery, repaired everything that they fixed, or well, that they broke. And then um, after that, somebody hit me again. So when they hit me again, um, it bent the frame. This frame was bent. I ended up rebuilding this whole entire bike, not even knowing that the frame was bent. So when I built the bike, I took it for a spin after building damn near everything over had bent rims i had to put new wheels uh new plastics new tank everything on there is new except for the motor and the swing arm actually the swing arm is from that other bike i ended up buying another bike just to fix this bike and yeah so after i took the bike for its first spin with the other frame i realized the frame was bent and I had to swap the frame, so swapped the frame, took me two days to do, swapped everything over. Through the process, I learned everything about this bike when it comes to KLRs um, outside the motor. Um, so let's get into the bike for real. It's a 2008 KLR 650, um, jetted carburetors. I got a stage two jet on the carburetor. Um, all the work that I do to it, it has an arm stator. Um, I did that to it myself. It has a Delkovich exhaust. Um, powder coated rear caliper. Braided stainless lines. Stainless, good pedal feel. Little brake reservoir cover, never hurt nobody. I got these pedals right here. Just put these on, these are pretty cool. Air horn, fogs. Lower dash panel. Got the upper dash on there. These rails are new off of 2018 KLR. Swapped them over, came with the tires. Um, funny story, I had two, I had four sets of calipers. So I ended up sending two rear calipers instead of a front and a rear. So that's why I'm still waiting on that part to come in and then that'll be green too. But my front lines, the front lines are braided, stainless as well. Got the little engine cover caps and from nice CNC. Brand new gold chain, 16 tooth sprocket in the front. And um, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much it. Pro tapers. Power mag, hand guards. Um, I got 
got the smoked smoked rear signals all around and a rear fog light so that's pretty much it for the bike i'll get a video of it running and in the sunlight when i pull it out i could be any more happier with it this is kind of like the final product with the decals and the enjoy seat cover um i told myself i wanted to complete a bike for my birthday june 2nd and i made that happen so I'm in this room making songs. I'm so hot, so hot, but I'm still in the streets. Yeah, fuck a dog, I got it. 